Clock in, clock in. Black guy just walked in. I don't need nobody. Only fuck with niggas from around my way. Fuck how you feel about it. I don't know what who's stepping for my session, but they still trying to block it. Had to throw the hate up on my necklace. Bitch, I'm trying to stop it. Bitch, I don't even wash my clothes. I ain't never folded. Had to wipe a nigga nose. Team Black got a stand up, man. Yo. All right, y'all, we got another video right now, man. We got that boy Rowdy Rebel. I guess he finna explain to us why him and Bobby Schmurder ain't been together, bro. We ain't been seeing too many videos of Bobby Schmurder and Rowdy Rebel together. It could be for multiple reasons. We got to remember, Bobby just got out of jail. So uh, I'm not sure if Bobby is on parole or not, or is he on parole, or are both of them on parole? And they still got like stipulations to where they can't even be around each other. I don't know like what's really going on with their case, man. But I know something got to be going on, or they could just be really going through it. Cause wasn't they together when Bobby first got out? Or am I tripping? You feel me? Like I forgot. But I guess we gonna hear from my boy Roddy Rebel's mouth if they fell out, cause they not cool together. Cause they not cool no more or they just can't be around each other or we could just see if Roddy Rebel gonna lie about the situation and just you know not make it public but keep it in the street you feel me you and Bobby's relationship at at this point that's forever my brother do you guys still talk on a daily basis you still hang out much that's forever my that's brother forever my brother Okay. The internet conspiracies, they think y'all ain't cool no more because niggas don't be seeing y'all hang out in and shit. And there's like a video of you, it's like, if you don't see me with niggas, don't ask me about them. And niggas like, how come you and Bobby don't be hanging out as much? Mm. Yeah, I take everything and say, from me. I said, <laughs> that's what we do. That's, that's the internet. That's yeah, bro. Go read the comments. That's what they saying. Yeah. Yeah, bro. That's for having my brother, man. All right, one last time you and Bobby kicked it or something. Bro, that's forever, my brother. Y'all like, still be kicking it though, cause like right. nigga, y'all was un inseparable. Like when we first seen y'all come up, we used to see you see Bobby, you see Rowdy, you see Rowdy, you see Bobby. Like all the vo blogs on the uh, block and shit. And now it's like, damn, we gonna be seeing y'all like as locked in as y'all used to be, or at least I guess that's what the internet's saying. Well, that's that's forever, my brother. His day, I'm doing my thing. That's my brother forever. Yeah. That's the root of Wack saying something about him in general, too. Remember when Wack was trying to say that Bobby was doing zesty dances and shit? Yeah, I remember that. That yeah. was the whole thing. He was trying to convince us that Bobby... It's Jamaican, bro. Was, oh. <laughs> yeah, how you be feeling about people trying to troll Bobby with the, the whole zesty shit since he got out of jail? I know you be seeing that. I just realized it's the internet. <sighs> yeah. He don't give a f about that shit. Y'all got any, like, music? Y'all did? Finna come out or something? I got bad music together. I just, right now, like, bro doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. That's my brother forever, bro. What can we do to bring you guys back? Let me give y'all street terms of what my boy Roddy Rebel is saying. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all. No matter what y'all say about the boy Roddy, no matter what y'all say about the boy Bobby, when it comes to the street politics or whatever the hell they be talking about, street codes and all this extra shit, if they are actually street codes, I would say Roddy Rebel and Bobby Schmurder have been following them joints to the T. When I say they've been following them joints to the T, like them boys do not slip up at all to make one another look crazy no matter what the hell they may be going through behind closed doors, bro. Just off of how Roddy Rebel responded, I can tell him and Bobby probably got some type of fresh shit. It could be some stupid shit, some little shit, bro. You ain't show up to our music video. It could be slow as hell, bro. You know what I'm saying? You ain't supporting me how I'm supporting you. Like, it could be the most slowest thing. You feel me? But I ain't gonna lie. I can tell by the way he responding. They could probably do got some friction, but it ain't on some type of time where he's gonna let it get to the public. He's going to say that's forever my brother. He ain't going to tell you when the last time they kicked it. He ain't going to tell you when the last time they talked. He ain't going to tell you the last time they smoked a J together. They ain't going to tell you the last time they smoked a cigarette together. They ain't going to tell you nothing. You hear me? He's just going to say that's forever my brother because he want to keep it clean. He want to keep it kosher. So you really can't run with no story. The only thing they could do is continue with these little speculations they got as to where they don't even vibe with each other no more. But when it comes to facts, they got none. They can't say them boys really don't vibe with each other because they never made it public that they don't vibe with each other. And like, bro, that's exactly what they've been doing from the jump. Bobby decided to take half the time he took, bro. Them boy keeping it silent, bro. Well, I said back together like we left. If it hasn't like got to the level of tension that like you guys feel like it would be an option to fix shit. It's not that serious. It's just kind of you're just doing your own thing. 
Uh, we're just trying right now. We're going to get back to basics. Yeah, like an EP with y'all together to go crazy or something. All right? I know the fans be on that shit. Nah, that'd be crazy, though. Have you done a song together since you got out? Yeah. Oh, okay. And you just dropped, y'all. I seen Joel Santana drop the song today. It was you, Meek Mill, Jim Jones. Yeah, shout out Joel. That's where, a New York powerhouse yeah, right that's there. Powerhouse. That's crazy. Where y'all at? And you had one of the hardest verses my on there, too. Y'all hey, like, hey, 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 said New York powerhouse. Like, Meek from Philly, but oh, yeah, Meek right. feel like he's from he, New York. It, it do feel that's like, that's, yeah, yeah, you would think so, yeah. That's the New York brother now. That's, that's Philly to New York, for sure. Who All put right. that? Like, how that? When y'all shoot that video? Uh, shout out to been shout out to Shell. Um, just I was had it in the car. I guess he was just working on what he was working on, but he just dropping out consistently. Uh, he's just working my hard. Shout out to Alice. but um, we shout out to in the city. Yeah, that's mad generations of New York right there too. Like Joel's, uh, you on the same song. I mean, you guys popped off like you know, yeah. many years. I used apart. to be watching when I was a kid. I used to throw the band on like my side. Oh yeah, you, remember that? you ever go to Santana's town? Nah. That was his store. Oh yeah, I remember that. But I, the, the flags in there land up with the BB belts and all that. I ain't get that. But I'm from Brooklyn, right? So do you feel like? Because it's like, all right, do you feel like the Bronx kind of took the attention away from Brooklyn on the drill shit? Um, I don't even matter. It's New York, so I don't know for me. They just kind of freaked it. They did shit different. All of a sudden, they're screaming into the mic. They're like dissing ops on every single fucking lyric. Kind of made the Brooklyn shit seem a little bit tame in comparison, which is probably not the worst thing, because I know a lot of people don't like Bronx drill because it's too fucking crazy. Mm, man, I get in the car and play Jamaican music. So, when I do listen to that music, I be playing in the club or I'm with the little bros and they play it. Not saying I don't f with it, it's just. Yeah. But does it worry you? You feel like you, you're my go to option when I get in the car. Like, when I get in the car, I want to hear my groove, my. It'll be on my vibe. And the uh, first day I'm going to, I want to hear some Jamaican music. Do you wish you could get by by just making, like, you know, laid back Jamaican tunes? Do I wish I could get by by making Jamaican music? Well, I feel like if you were to, to start strictly dropping Jamaican music, you probably wouldn't get as many people listening as if you dropped some hard rap shit. I can't. I don't know if I can make a Jamaican song. Like, 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 I'll be like, I'll try, and I'll be like, nah, I don't like it for me because I listen to Jamaican music, so it's like, I'm trying to make it sound like a little yeah. bit how it is for me, but it don't be coming out like that, so I'll be like, nah. But I hear you. Boy, it's loaded. You hear me? But I guess we got the answer we want to get out of that video. Did y'all?